What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this one I have for you guys ranked seasons against a really good player. This guy usually finishes in the top 10, top 20 of every month of ranked seasons. I matched up with him in an event before, he smoked me in that event, then I played him in ranked seasons a couple months ago and we had a really good game, I think I ended up taking the dub in that one. And then we matched up once again, I knew he was a great hitter, he's a, above a 300 hitter in average, he slugs at a very high percentage, I knew this was going to be a crazy game. I played this one off stream. This was after my stream yesterday. I, uh, I I didn't really like how I was hitting. I kind of went into a little bit of a slump. I was just under the ball or just on top of it uh, uh, many times in the stream. There, the opponent hits one out with the. I threw one too many 12-6 curveballs with uh, with Kershaw there. Immortal Kershaw, Babe Ruth sends one deep. Very good card. This guy's a great hitter. Any anytime I make a mistake like that, he's gonna he's gonna make me pay. He's gonna destroy it. I knew this was gonna be a high scoring game. We're playing on all star difficulty, and actually this opponent was already in the World Series at this time. He was, uh, I think he's like ra ranked like five or six in the world right now. But he hits another 12 6 curveball out with Ted Williams there, lefty lefty off of Mortal Kershaw. Very good hit. He pulled it. Definitely what you want to do there. That brings up my Ken Griffey Jr. facing Immortal Tom Seaver. I was able to hold him there at two runs in the first. I just got under that ball, hit it to left field. That was the moral of the stream pretty much yesterday was I was just missing the ball. Got, I mean, I wasn't pitching that great. My ERA's kind of gone up this season. There I was able to cut the lead in half, hit one out on a 3-2 count with Pablo Sanchez. That was a crucial crucial swing, crucial at, at bat there. I, I don't want to let Tom Seaver get too far settled in. But that's kind of how the stream was a little bit yesterday. I lost a couple one-run games. It happens, man. Sometimes you go into that slump, you don't get that crucial hit later in the game. And last month, I, I think I had like five losses in total. And it was just because I was able to get that big hit. I played a lot of good players last month as well. But I did talk a little bit about it in the stream yesterday. You learn a lot more from your losses in this game than you do your, your wins because you're not analyzing what you did wrong as much, That if that makes sense. But at the same time, I mean, anytime, anytime you have a good game, if it's a close game, it's a good game. So the, that's how I kind of felt about the stream yesterday. I was having a ton of fun, even though I took a couple close losses. I got walked off on in a game. It was just, it was great. So I'll have some of the highlights from that probably in one video. But I wanted to get this game out. I also will have the Javier Baez debut because I did pull that card out of a pack, out of the Guaranteed Finest pack for the January program. So that's coming out as well. I'll have that later today. Uh, definitely had a great time using that card in the live stream yesterday. Just have to uh, have to wait a little bit before I, I post that video. Here he, here he uh, hits one hard to, to Albert Pujols. There, that was the finest. Jose Ramirez, a very good card. Definitely, I I know what all the hype is about. I faced him and he's done some damage versus me. There, I was on a 3-0 count. I was able to get the ground out, but he's uh he's definitely a good player, man. He was waiting on that 12-6 consistently. He hit it to to right field with Baez. There brings up Yogi Berra. He's actually one of the only top players I've seen use this Yogi Berra. And uh, I mean, I mean, why I call him a top player? Is he has a very good record. 280 and 40 was his record, I believe. And my record, I think, is like two, 207 and like 50. There, that was a crucial play. He he took out his pitcher, Tom Seaver, in the second inning there, and he went with Vladimir Guerrero. Crucial play from from Chipper Jones, unable to make it, unable to make that play. That would have been a double play, I think, if I had Lindor there, or maybe even that Baez. So I, I'm think I, I think I am gonna start that Baez at shortstop. At this point in the year, I'm just trying to use all the cards that I have unlocked. I'm trying to vary my lineup a little bit, mix it up. I'm trying to bring to you guys the best content, the best possible games that I can against some of the best players that I, that I match up against, and at the same time, the best games that I play. So here he hits a three-run shot with Babe Ruth. That was a big hit. He really delivered there. That was he's sitting on a fastball inside, and he smacked it out. That, but I, I mean, the game's not over yet. I know I've given up six runs already in the second inning, but it, you gotta just chip away. You can't really, uh, can't really get down. I mean, it's on all-star difficulty. You gotta just think that you're. I'm gonna also hit here. I pinch hit for Vla uh, Vladimir Guerrero. I did the same type of thing that he did. I pinch hit for my pitcher. He brought in Immortal Billy Wagner in this inning, and this is a game of inches, man. I just got, I guess, on top of that ball. I I tried to catch it. That was a change up low in the zone. And that wasn't the PCI feedback. That was from Griffey. And later on in the inning, I went, I hit a hard ground ball right at the shortstop. Didn't get anything with that with that inning there. And that's just how the game plays sometimes. I hit the ball hard in that inning and didn't get rewarded. He went ahead and walked Piazza. I brought it. I, I started Kyle Schwarber in this game. Just like to mix it up. Start Kyle Schwarber. Mix. I brought in Piazza because he brought in the lefty. And that I mean that plays a factor later on in this one. 
But six to three ball game in the third. I wanted to throw that cutter inside off the hands. And I did not throw it inside off the hands. Even if I did, it probably just would have been a foul ball. I'm sure he would have destroyed it foul. That's probably the one thing about that Koji Uhara. If you, if you hang the pitches, then he's going to get destroyed. But other than that, I mean, since he's such a good control pitcher, and he really only has three pitches. He has that curveball, the splitter, and the, the cutter. The fastball is kind of unusable. Here, I was hoping that Vladimir Guerrero had the same result that Pablo Sanchez had in the previous inning. I was I hit into a double play on a similar swing. But uh, Babe Ruth up at the plate, and I just got on top of that slider. Did not sit on it, hit it the other way. Babe Ruth still had a, has had a pretty good game so far and, and been clutch for me, but there, at times, I just hit the ball to second base with him. That same result, trying to pull the ball. It was an outside pitch, though. It didn't really go the other way. Just unfortunate. But that's the difference in this game, man. The double play so far has killed me in, in big situations, or else this could be a, a tie game, even though or a close game, even though it's 7-3. It still is fairly close, and it's not over yet. I was able to hold him down for that inning. Finally, a shutdown inning which I did get away with some of those pitches as well, but he, br he brought in Trevor Hoffman. I just got under that ball there with Alvin Pujols. The wind, I think, was blowing in into the left like 10 miles an hour. It wasn't that much of a factor in this game, though, I don't think. I just, I once again, just get barely got under that ball with Chipper Jones. Change up, low and away. If I'm able to hit that the other way with some authority, which is kind of challenging with Chipper Jones at times. Tough to go the other way unless you do power swing, but I, I mean, I was able to get a three-pitch inning in this inning. This was actually the third pitch. Shut him down for a couple innings with this Koji. He did hit a home run off of him, but I, I needed to get as many outs as I could with anybody because my bullpen was kind of taxed. Played played a couple games yesterday, high-scoring games where I had to use my bullpen. But I am able to hit a no-doubter with J.D. Martinez, chip away at the at the deficit. I wish I maybe would have brought him in earlier in the game in that Vladimir Guerrero situation. I don't know. Looking back on it, hindsight's 2020. It is what it is, but maybe I hit into a double play with, with JD as well. I, I have no idea. It was a tough call. I hit the ball hard in both situations, so that's the, that's kind of all I can do at this point. I mean, I just missed that one. Ken Griffey Jr. brings up Pablo Sanchez, swung a little bit late, hit it right to his second baseman. Definitely a lot of balls hit hard right, right at his players. That one wasn't the best swing in the world, but Definitely, uh, this guy was was uh, playing a great game. Here, I got a little bit lucky. Does a little bit, does a hit and run, and Alex Wood makes the play. I tried to bring in this Alex Wood, and depending on the player you use him against, it's he's tough to use at times. There, Babe Ruth hits a hits a no doubter on a changeup. PCI was completely on it. Swing kind of looked a little weird there, but I do show the feedback. I don't know if you can see it because my face cam's in the way. Yeah, I will be in the way, but it is perfect, perfect PCI. Good, good. There, I just missed out that slurve with Ted Williams. That was back-to-back -back pitches. Tried to go back-to-back -back on him. And that would have been uh, awesome to do because that, now it's a 7-5 game. Got Albert Pujols up. Base knock. So one swing of the bat ties the game. I still have a chance here. Brings up uh, Mike Trout. 94 speed. Tried to stay out of the double play in this situation. Looking for a pitch low in the zone probably. And Mike Trout can hit, hit pitches low in the zone pretty well. And I hit it right to his second baseman. That's going to be uh, automatic double play. Exactly what's been killing me in this game. It is what it is. It's part of the game. I hit the ball hard, and that's the difference. If that ball goes into the gap, it's a 7-6 it's game with another guy in scoring position. It is what it is, man. Just have to pitch. Just have to try to have to hold him down. Have Alex Wood here with going with the changeup low and away. 21 pitches. I'm just trying to use everybody that I possibly have. But this opponent had some really good at-bats in this game, took a lot of pitches. And both of both of us went to our bullpen uh, rather rather early, and we had to manage the game. It was all about how we were going to manage it late with our bench and everything. There I got lucky. Mike Trout was able to track that down. I challenged him with a fastball up and in with Eric Gagne in that situation. Ted Williams flies out to Mike Trout. So, I mean, I was able to shut him down for, what, four innings? This will be the fifth inning shut him down in a row, and that's that's huge, man, When you're especially when you're chipping away against a really good player like this who hits at an extremely high clip. You have to uh, you have to shut these guys down, and, and your pitching is huge in this game. But he's also shutting me down. I mean, I'm hitting the ball hard right to his infielders, right to his outfielders. Certain certain situations, I'm just popping up, just barely getting under it with good swings. I mean, I'm hit, I mean Paulo Sanchez didn't get the job done against the Rawls Chapman there. But this guy had a great team. He, if we're going into the ninth inning. He has Javier Baez, and he hit, he crushes that one. He sat on it, hits it low, 
And uh, yeah, this Baez is extremely good. I can't wait to actually use him and, and make a video on that Baez. That will be coming out a little bit later. But the opponent is not done. He's crushing one with Griffey. Griffey to Griffey. And Griffey's going to go ahead and steal a hit from him. That's probably an inside the park home run if I'm not able to make that play. So I'm able to keep it at a three-run deficit into the ninth inning. And I already have two outs in the in the inning. I mean, I, I popped up with Ted Williams. I popped up with the Albert Pools. Just had kind of some good pitches to swing at. But uh, tr still trying, down to my last out, still trying to win this game. Still trying to tie it up. And Chipper Jones gets a hanging curveball. Rips it for a base hit. L got lucky. That was a bad swing. But he might have hung that one a little bit. If I swung a little bit better, that's probably a two-run home run. But that brings up Mike Piazza. And I just barely missed that one with a slider. I was a hanging slider right over the middle of the plate. I just missed it. Great game to this opponent. And, I mean, what a crazy game. He was at a 915 rated. I lost a couple points there. Back down to 750 or whatever. I, I am going to have another video uploaded later today. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.